So the smart controller has been out for about a week now and there's really no accessories for the smart controller just yet. Of course, a bunch of third parties as well as DJI are more than likely gonna be coming out with a bunch of accessories either to mount a lanyard or other things like that as well as also some carrying cases for the smart controller. So in this video, I just wanna quickly show you what I've been able to use as kind of like a DIY to hook up a lanyard as well as a wrist strap onto the bottom of the smart controller. And as far as traveling and transporting the DJI smart controller, I'm actually gonna to talk to you quickly about a case that I've actually done a review on in the past, uh, and it's able to hold the smart controller, so that's the reason why I've been using it. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of third-party companies coming out with cases, but I just wanna quickly show you exactly what I've been doing for my lanyard, as well as what case I've been using for the DJI smart controller and the Mavic 2 Pro. And if you guys are new here, my name is Aldrin Astacio with FlightPath.com. I do a lot of drone tech, tips, tutorials, and product reviews on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. So the first thing we'll talk about is the smart controller and what I've been able to do to hook up a lanyard to the bottom of this remote control. DJI and other third parties haven't released anything for it yet. So in the meantime, I was able to just kind of DIY a lanyard holder onto the bottom of this thing. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I was able to get and also what types of screws that will work for the bottom of this remote control. Uh, the biggest thing that I had to just figure out what I was gonna do to mount this on here was make sure I got the right screw type that would go into here. So I was able to go to the hardware store and of course try to find the right match. And what I found here is it's actually a metric size M4-07 and it by whatever 15 millimeters, however, however long you want that screw. Uh, and there's different types. There's either a Phillips screw, uh, and there's also a socket screw head, and that, but that's the one you're gonna need to fit and screw properly into the bottom of the remote control. Uh, the next thing I knew was I wanted to figure out how I was able to attach some sort of bracket on here that would allow me to then hook my lanyard up to that bracket. Uh, I actually have a bunch of D-rings at home, and you can actually find these at the hardware store too. Um, these are just a bunch of D-rings that you would normally use for like picture frames or anything like that. Um, and what it is is just a flat piece here that would go in and screw in, and then you have this little metal triangle or metal ring here that you would use to then attach your lanyard or a wrist strap to it. I went with the socket ones just because I kind of like the industrial look of the socket ones and of course you can tighten them a little tighter. But at the same time, you can you know more likely go with the Phillips one. That way if you have any issues, Phillips head's a lot easier to get to uh, than using the socket. And they normally come in silver. I was looking for a black one, couldn't find a black one. Uh, so I just spray painted them black just to make it so it's a little bit more, uh, you know, kind of seamless with the remote control. It doesn't really stand out and look like it's some aftermarket, you know, piece. All right, so now that they're screwed in there, and as you can see here, they kind of blend in because it's all flat black, so it blends in with the remote nice. It actually kind of looks pretty factory, like kind of it's supposed to be there, but it looks pretty clean. And what's nice is that I actually already had a wrist strap and a shoulder strap uh, or you know a lanyard in a way from Peak and I actually used this on my camera gear. So all I did was I had these extra holders here that you just slip on to the bottom of this remote control and you just loop that in. Here's what it looks like. I just have my loops. That way if I ever want to just switch it and I want to do a wrist strap, I can just use this, strap this on and then I can use this as a wrist strap when I fly. So I'm able to at least have this hold right here and then now put on shoulder slash lanyard style. Put this around my neck and then I'm able to hold this just like that. And it was nice because when I didn't have it on there, I would, every time I would have to do something or if I had to pick up my camera, I would have to put this thing just on the ground. So what I'm able to do now is in a sense just kind of fly and hold it just like that and then when I'm done, I'm able to put this, kind of rest it down here, grab my camera, I'm able to do some other, you know, B-roll stuff, and then when I'm ready to go back up, I just have to pick this up and fly again. Now as far as transporting both the remote and the Mavic 2, I've actually done a review on this bag before. This is the Lycus bag, and I like it because it's fairly compact and it holds a lot of stuff. And I've actually done a review on this before, so make sure you guys check out the link above, or I'll leave it down below as well. It goes a little more detail about this bag. Um, right here on the outside, there's a pocket on the very outside part. And that pocket I use for filters, so I have a couple filter sets right here that uh, stay on the outside of this pocket. This flap, which opens up, 
and there's another big pocket here and this actually can hold a full-size iPad. So I have an iPad in here. You can also put some paperwork or other accessories in this pocket. It has a padded handle. It has a back strap right here in case you want to carry this onto your luggage and slide your luggage uh, holder into this. The case kind of show you how it fits. Once I open it up, it has a pocket on the inside, a little webbing pocket here, as well as a sealed pocket on the top right here. I have a bunch of accessories. I have my PGY Tech Quarter 20 connector, as well as some other cables in here. Now when you get down to the bottom, now this is configurable. It's a Velcro kind of DSLR style holder, so you can really configure this the way you want it. And now I'm able to hold one, two, three extra batteries, you know, a charger, a hub, or anything inside of here. Right now I just have an extra little Joby pod here, an area for cables or wipes or anything like that, just some extra compartments just all around. But you can put the Mavic right here in the middle and it's nice and snug just right there. And put this down and that sits nicely on the side just like this, just like that. So it still fits all the way in there just like that. It actually stays level as far as height white goes. It doesn't stick up over the zipper. So it sits right at level of the actual case itself. There's even a little pad here to protect the front of that monitor, which they already had it in this case. And all it is just protects that monitor. So I'm able to carry all of this in here and this folds up easily for you to transport this around. And there you go. So, this is what I've been using, and I actually did use this a lot on my previous when I was just having the regular remote. Everyday carry, just throw this in your trunk and you pretty much have your all-in-one kit in one bag. So there it is, guys. That was just a quick video to show you what I've been able to do as far as a DIY to hold a lanyard or a wrist strap onto your smart controller, as well as just talk to you a little bit more about the case. Again, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of other cases that are gonna be hitting the market soon, so I can't wait to test those out. So if you guys have any other questions, make sure you guys leave those in the comments down below below and of course as always if you guys got some value from my video don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when i post new videos this is Aldrin Stasio with flightpath.com i'll see you in the next one take care